Hello there, welcome to The Real You. This is Susanna. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, for watching my videos. So what do we do when we're dealing with those persistent, negative, depressive states that won't go away? Now, this short series of videos are meant to give you tricks and tools to deal with these states. Tools that will give you an immediate relief and at the same time will ensure long-term effects. The truth is that way too many people are suffering from depression. And even though some people might choose to stick to the idea that there's nothing that can be done about it, I prefer to show you how some people manage to reduce the intensity of these states and gradually at your own pace make them fade away. Having worked with many people dealing with depression and having dealt with depression myself, I kind of figure out what works, what doesn't, and what tricks we can use to bypass this emotional mind which is slightly overactive and turned into the wrong direction. But before starting to share with you these shortcuts, I want to make it clear that these videos are not meant to replace in any way the therapy that has been prescribed to you by your doctor and that you should consult a doctor if you feel the need to do that and uh, that you assume full responsibility for your own state of well-being. Now, that being said, many people see depression as a disease and think that suffering from depression is just like suffering from a liver disease. And although I do not personally completely agree with that, um, let's just say that that was true. Then, just like with a liver disease, there is a cause for it. And if we stop the cause, we can stop uh, the disease and so it can be healed. And of course, there are degrees and degrees of depression. But only a small amount of people are experiencing this pathological depression that cannot be healed and they have to be treated in the hospital. For the rest of us, what we commonly call depression in our Western society is simply the result of the wrong functioning of the emotional mind. Sometimes people dealing with depression are saying, I don't want to lie to myself. I don't want to pretend that I'm okay when I'm not. And if I give it a name, then I'll feel better. At least I know what it is. Well, actually, in truth, just by giving it a name, we still don't know what it is and what's causing it. And we cannot really fix it. And this, of course, is a valid way to look at it. And I'm not here to convince anybody to do things differently, but you might want to give yourself a chance to do like some people do and train your mind out of depression. So my tricks might not be for everybody, but it could be something that would work for you. And there is this one difficulty that people with depression are experiencing, which is making this constant effort, fighting these negative thoughts to be able to do the daily tasks, and I can totally relate to that. However, let's reframe this a little bit. It is not effort per se that is required. It is the repetition of certain things that will help strengthen the muscles of your mind. Your mind needs to be retrained little by little. If, for instance, you have a problem with your knee joint, you know that you'll have to do a set of exercises daily for a month or two. Uh, you'll have to apply oils or creams and massages and after a while it gets better. And we'll know that if you want to learn to speak a language, you're going to have to give a few minutes every day and practice that language in order to get better and better. We all have to do things every day for something. Basically, we're all doing what we're doing to keep ourselves going all the time, isn't it? Now, for sure, depression makes it difficult for people to get the energy and the motivation to do these things that help strengthen its muscle and get back on its track. And it feels like it's mind against mind. And this is a battle that cannot be won. And it's true that it is hard to convince a depressed mind of the utility of doing something like that. However, if we manage to bypass this and to keep on doing things that help you ease the intensity of these states, this eventually will lead to their disappearance. 
It is more subtle than working with the knee, but basically is the same thing. So there is something that is not functioning properly. The function of your emotional mind has been slightly disturbed, just like the function of the liver can be disturbed. And I know how you're feeling, how heavy it is. I know that you're feeling that there's something deeply wrong with you and I know how that pain feels in your chest. I know that I've been there. But what I want to do now with you is to give you that external boost that will allow you to start doing something every day. Even if this is just listening to these videos and doing these simple exercises with me for a while until this starts to become lighter and lighter for you. And maybe you start feeling lighter right away, or maybe the change will happen later. But the change that has already been set in motion will eventually happen at a moment and at a speed that is in accordance to who you are, respecting your own rhythm. And since all this happens at the emotional mind level, for the time being, we don't need to understand why this is happening. For the time being, we just need to bypass this emotional mind and work with some other aspects of you. Because although it might seem that your whole mind is affected by this depression, this is not true. There are plenty of other aspects of your mind that are functioning very well and other capacities and functions of your mind which we can use and we will use in this series of videos. And there is another thing that I want to mention before ending this video. Um, and you'll probably notice this by yourself just by doing these exercises, that there is more to your mind than this depression. Your depression makes you feel and think that it occupies the whole space. But this is not true. So all these exercises will aim at pointing your attention and your awareness towards the areas of yourself which have not and cannot be touched by depression. So we will work with your unconscious mind, we'll work with your intelligence or booty, and we'll work with your body. So if you want to explore this with me and want to retrain your mind to look into the right direction, stay tuned. I'll upload the rest of the videos very shortly. I'll see you then.